Simple and Smart, the new fork sensor generation from SIG. In this tutorial, we present the new fork sensor generation from SIG. In comparison to the current fork sensor portfolio of SIG, the new fork sensors will be adjusted with one button only. With the new design, SIG presents its new fork sensors in a uniform appearance across all the lines. In addition to that, a new intuitive operational concept was implemented, which enables to install the fork sensors in an easy and quick way, even without an operating manual. Furthermore, the variants are equipped with an integrated I.O. link interface. Additionally, SIG offers intelligent functions like time measurement and counter. Via SOPUS, it is possible to set and demonstrate these smart functions. Although the operation concept is pretty intuitive, this tutorial provides a detailed overview of the adjustment possibilities of the fork sensors. There are several ways how to teach in the fork sensors. As an example, we are using a WFN. Dynamic teach-in. To start the teach-in, position the background on the object between the fork. Press the teach-in button for 3 to 20 seconds. The push button pressed down moves several objects through the sensor. The yellow LED flashed at 3 hearts during the teach-in procedure. It is recommended to move at least 3 objects through the sensor. To end the teach-in, release the teach-in button after less than 20 seconds. If the teach-in is successful, the function indicator directly indicates the output state of the sensor. A faulty teach-in is indicated by a fast flashing yellow LED at 6 hearts until a new teach-in has been successfully carried out. The static 2-point teach-in. To start the teach-in, place the background or the object between the fork sensor. Push the teach-in button for 1 to 3 seconds and then release the button. The yellow LED flashes with 1 heart. To end the teach-in, place the material that has not yet been set between the fork and press the teach-in button again. If the teach-in is successful, the function indicator directly indicates the output state of the sensor. The sensor automatically detects whether a 2-point teach-in or a 1-point teach-in has been carried out. A faulty teach-in is therefore not possible. The static one-point teach-in. If the application conditions do not allow the object to be moved, a one-point teach-in can be carried out. This teach-in procedure has the lowest signal reserve and this is why a dynamic teach-in should always be preferred if possible. To start the teach-in, position the background or the object between the fork. Press and hold down the teach-in button for one to three seconds and then release. The yellow LED flashes at 1 Hz. To end the teach-in, briefly press the teach-in button again. If the teach-in is successful, the yellow LED flashes for 2 seconds at 6 Hz. Fine adjustment. In order to obtain a higher operating reserve, a fine adjustment can be carried out after successful teach-in. For this purpose, the switching threshold is set close to the taught-in background. The teach-in button must be pressed and released within 10 seconds after the successful teach-in. Successful setting is indicated by flashing twice and 1 Hz. Light dark switching. It is possible to change between light switching and dark switching by pressing the teach-in button for 20 to 30 seconds. Push button lock. The device can be locked against unintended operation by pressing the teach-in button for more than 30 seconds. The device can be unlocked by pressing the teach-in button again for more than 30 seconds. In this tutorial, you got an overview of all important functionalities of the new SIG fork sensors. Further information about the automation functions can be found in the tutorials on YouTube or can be downloaded as documentation on SIG.com.